Hello everyone. In previous video, we have seen how to do subnetting. That is also called as FLSM fixed length subnet mask. Because for all the subnet, subnet mask is fixed. Right. Now we have one example. So in previous video, we have seen how to do subnetting. Our requirement was just you know, four subnets. So for that, we got these ranges. Okay. So we have, I have taken one example. In Zoom Technologies, four departments are there. Now first range I have assigned for Microsoft department and second range I have a range I have assigned for Cisco department third one for firewall and fourth range for hardware department okay so these are four ranges you now these departments cannot communicate with each other because these are different subnets right now in this Cisco department we have sub departments also like CCI, CCNP, CCNA so we have three sub departments now what I want to do, I want to restrict these three departments. These three departments should not communicate with each other. So what I have to do now, what we can do, we can take this subnet range, further we can divide. Subnet VLSM variable and subnet mass is subnetting a subnet is called as VLSM. So I'm dividing VLSM, I'm doing VLSM for Cisco department. So Cisco department, VLSM for Cisco department, right. Now I have to take this range, so 192.168.1.64 to 192.168.1.64 and it has slash 26. Now how we got this? This is nothing but customized subnet mask. In previous video we have seen how to do subnetting. We got customized subnet mask that is 255.255.255.192, right. It has 26 bits altogether, 8 bits, 8, 8, 8 plus 2 bits. So that is why it is 26. We can write like this subnet mask in slash notation. For this subnet mask, we have 26 slash 26. Okay, that I have taken. Now, what is the requirement? I want to divide this subnet into 3 subnets for the division. So, requirement is 3. 3 subnets we require. Right. So for that we have formula 2 power n greater than or equal to requirement. So what is n? Requirement is 3. So I have to substitute n value such that it should be equal to 3 or it should be greater than 3. If I take 2 power 2 that is 4. It is equal to, it is greater than 3. Okay, satisfying the condition. So we got 4 subnets. Right. Now I have to find out, calculate the range, you know, IP addresses for these subnets. How many IP addresses are there on each subnet? For that we have formula that is 2 power h minus 2. So I can write here 2 power h minus 2 greater than, it is equal to number of host. So excuse me, 2 power h minus 2. So we have to find out number of host bits. Here n dot, n dot, n dot. If you are doing first time subnetting, you have to take all zeros. Now I am doing VLSM. So we have to retain those FLSM bits. Right. Now what is N value? N is equal to 2. We have to convert two more zeros into ones. Right. After conversion, how many zeros are left? That is nothing but host bits. Number of zeros, number of H. That is H value. 2 power 4. 4 zeros are left, 2 power 4. 2 power 4 is 16. 16 minus 2, 14 hosts per subnet. Right, we got number of subnets and number of hosts. Now we have to find out the ranges for these subnets. Now here we will find out the customized subnet mask for this first. So this is 1, 2 power 7, 128. 2 power 6, 64. 2 power 5, 32. 2 power 4 is 16. Right. Now, for all ones, we can write as 255, for all ones, 255, for all ones, 255, and if you add these numbers, we get 240. So this is the customized subnet mask. Right. Now, I have, we have to write down the ranges for these four subnets. So we have to start from here. This is the range 182.168.1.64. Right. And we have to add minimum network width is 16. We have tried in addition of 16 to this value. Fourth octet 182, 168. 64 plus 16 is 80. Next range 
168 dot 16 plus 80 is 96 and next 182 dot 168 dot 16 plus 96 is 112 right and if you add further 182 you uh, know 16 plus 112 is 128 we have to stop at 127 only right so we got four subnet ranges now we have to complete these subnets 182 dot 168 dot second subnet is starting at 80 it ends at 79 like this second subnet range 182 168 95 and then 182 dot 168 dot 95 then next range is 111 it ends at the last one 182 168 1 dot right we got these four subnet ranges now we have to assign these subnet ranges for these sub departments so first subnet range I can assign for this CCI department 182 dot 168 dot 64 to 182 dot 168 dot 1 dot 79 right so what is the subnet mask for this so we have 255 255 255 240 for this we can write as slash 28 okay so next for CCNP 182 dot 168 dot next range 80 to 182 dot 168 dot 1 dot 95 slash 28 and then next range 182 dot 168 dot 1 dot 96 to 182 dot 168 dot 1 dot 111 slash 28 so like this we have further divided this sub major subnet into smaller subnets so we got these ranges and now these three departments cannot communicate because of this customized subnet mask one subnet is extra we have to just leave like this so this is vlsm variable and subnet mask 